Okay, let's get started. For this watercolor inking, we will need a wooden board, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper, I use Strathmore, watercolor paints and brush, a paint tray, precision masking tape, sponge and water, and a Pilot Precise Extra Fine Rolling Ball Pen. For this painting I used Violet, Cerulean Blue, Prussian Blue, and Ultramarine Blue. So you'll get your board, your paper. I have penciled out three 5 by 7 blocks on this Strathmore paper and I have taped it down and I'm just wetting it with a sponge. I let it dry and now I am going in the first section with my four colors. I would suggest just picking three to four colors and if this is your first time doing this type of watercolor inking, maybe pick colors that have more contrast, different colors. Um, this one is, has an ocean light theme, so I went with blues and purple. And I let it dry, and then I came back and, with my pen and just started inking in the obvious blocks. You also want to try and stay um, from left to right, up to down, otherwise you just need to be very careful about smearing the ink. Make sure you let it dry. And as you work on this, you will notice certain blocks of color before other blocks of color. So, you know, just start in the upper left-hand section and start with the obvious stuff. And then as those blocks are inked in, you'll begin to notice the um, much lighter surrounding blocks. You do not have to be exact at all. You can have fun with it. It's really cool to see the patterns and the shapes that the uh, overlapping paint make. Please forgive my light quality. <laughs> this is my first video, my first tutorial, so it'll get better. And if you're intimidated by this, just start small. This is, a, like I said, a 5x7. Get a 5x7 size piece of paper and just trace around it with a pencil and you've got your, your block to paint in. When you're done, it will create a very cool kaleidoscope effect. Thanks so much for watching. Sending you lots of love and creative vibes from Jeff Code Art. See you soon.